Looking at this end of day squeeze, I'm looking for a possible move up in here towards that 600 level would be my target. So we break through the 90s here, push up there to the 600s, a little recovery, a lot of volume coming in here, end of day. So seeing if we get this to squeeze up there to the 600s, we got liquidity on the book map. We'll give it a second and we'll see if we can't get up there to that 600 level. So just trying to be patient, see if I can add some more money onto the pile of money that we've already made here. So. You can see a lot of volume coming in here on the ETF, QQQ volume coming in there end of day, buyers are stepping up here. So that's why I'm kind of thinking that there's a good chance to push back up above that 600 level here. Just trying to be greedy here end of day to get this push up. Just makes sense to gotta get that push up to the 600s here. Almost a 94, 95, beautiful. Let's see if I can take off one right here. And then look to try to take off some more. One at 96 right there. Got three left. See if we can get a push above 600 right here. Beautiful. Give me a little bit more out of it. 98s possibly. There we go. Take one more off there. 97, 98s. And look for possibly 600 break right here. Let's see. I think she wants 600 right there. Taking a little bit more off. We got one contract left. To see if we can get this to break through 600 now. Kind of stop down here at the 80s just to... Give it a little bit of room. I might actually see if I might add on this dip here. Add back four contracts. See how far we dip down. Maybe get down here to like this 80 level again. Look to add there. I'm watching the book map right now. Once this thing starts pushing back up, gonna jump in. I'm gonna jump in right there. See if we can't squeeze up there above 600s next. Here at the end of the day. Stop still below. Pretty much that 80 level there. Giving it some room to breathe. And we'll try to get this push up through the 90s again. Tapping there at the 90s. 92s. 93s coming up. Get this to push straight through 95s next. I'm going to take off one right there. Take off one right there. Take off one right there. These are the ads that I added back there. Take off the last one right there, so just nice and easy. Still got one at break even. Let's see if we get this pushed through the 600s next. Should be nice. Put my sell order right there at 602s to get filled for the last contract to lock it down. And there we go, getting locked out and above the 600s. So pretty easy. We added back on that pullback. You can see my exits, my entries. This is all live on YouTube. We saw on the book, you saw on the book map here that uh, 15,600 level, really simple, really easy little move here. Nothing too fancy and there's that push back. So we saw all that volume coming in there on the ETF. This is the QQQ. Look at that kind of reversal. We had volume slowing down. I wanna make this very clear. We had the volume slowing down here and then look what happens. Huge spike in volume. This is a reversal, right? We spot the reversal. The price action gets very tight right there. You see how tight the price action gets with that little like doji. And then look at that volume come right back in there and push this. I mean, look at it. We're still going up to the, the 608. So I was a little, uh, a little quick to take profit, but still uh, locking it down nice and easy. So pretty happy with that overall execution. We got the reform. Uh, we got the kind of refill. We jumped back in there at the 88s when we saw all that kind of basing there and then look at that ripped all the way up there to the 08. So I probably could have been a little greedier there but just kind of wanted to lock it down. End of day, it is currently uh, 341 here. So there you go. Trading the NASDAQ, just five contracts there end of day. We had the breakout, the 15 minute chart also getting that big pushback up into this trend line there. And yeah, easy peasy mac and cheesy my friends.